Uh, but I think there's this mindset with like networking that it's like all about like, how many business cards can I hand out? Like how many people's hands can I shake? Like, oh, I hadn't gone over to that side of the room and great, like, oh yeah, I met so-and-so. Like, yeah, you met them, but like, did they remember you? Yeah. Was there any th connection that was actually created? But to be able to go into a room where everybody's focused on actually developing something real, yeah. like real relationships, real conversations, and whether that has to be facilitated from the stage which can happen, which yeah. is good, yeah. or whether it's just organically is just a feeling that's created, yep. um, or just an overall kind of um, tone of, of the environment, I guess. Uh, but that's where the real growth is gonna happen, and that's where you get something that when you leave, you're like, dang, is there something, there's something different. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves Podcast. This is episode 73. I am your host, Tyler Harris. This is... Ryan Alford. And we are the Sales Wolves. Ow. Yes, that is right. I don't know if mine was as strong as yours. I need to right. again. Woo! <laughs> I'm trying to get my like daughter. Ooh, like a Ric Flair thing. I've going. literally every day been trying to get my daughter. I've been going, what does the Sales Wolves say? What does the Sales Wolves <laughs> say? And I'm like, oh, and she's just like... Nothing yet, uh, nothing yet. We'll get there, she'll learn, or we'll get rid of her. Um, <laughs> Turn her in. But welcome to the Sales Wolves Podcast. This is episode 73 or 74? I know you just told me. 73. 73, and uh, this one's kind of a, a special one because it's nice and timely, as you see with uh, Ryan's shirt here. Uh, he's representing the, the GVL hustle, and it's something that we have uh, collaborated on and are, um, really excited about because it's the first one is this Sunday coming up. Um, July 1st? July yeah, 1st. July 1st. The first Sunday in the July. The first of the Not month. Not the last Sunday in June. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. There was some confusion. There was some confusion there. Um, but yes, it's the first yeah. of the month. Wake up, wake up. Um, but wanted to talk about that because really that idea sprung out of the problem that we saw with traditional networking um, and traditional ways of going out and meeting people that are that are like-minded. So maybe if you just want to kind of touch on just since you're the one that created this concept originally, just kind of where did it all come from? And uh, then we can kind of talk about what that's evolved into and then talk about some of these issues that people have with networking um, just traditionally. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it started with, I grew up in Greenville, and so being a native Greenvillian like yourself and you know wanting to get involved locally, it was kind of like that desire to be involved locally yeah. and being engaged in seemingly all of the avenues. You know, there's different clubs and connections and networking events. Yeah. I get the emails and I'm on a lot of the, the Upstate Business Journal and the Greenville Today and different avenues that are both content and networking yep. and I feel like I'm connected to those things but it all felt a little um, it's always felt a little shallow maybe um, yep. not not because I have it all figured out I mean it's not judging or critiquing it's not an easy thing sure. to do to make things quote unquote real yeah but it always felt shallow and it always felt like I'm not sure that the networking the content, the experiences were matching the growth that Greenville was seeing. Yeah. And so it was like this epiphany. It was like, okay, well, maybe we need to create something. Yeah. Maybe we need to, there's, I see all this growth in Greenville. Um, you and I living two doors down and kind of having like mindset and knowing many others of that like mindset, mm -hmm. but not really knowing where to get together yeah. or how to bring it together. And it's like, I guess they all, the, the old analogy is like, if you want to have a party, you throw a party. Yeah. And so it was sure. like, you know, and it, but it's more That's than that. That's why I started a fraternity in college. <laughs> exactly. Um, and that because they didn't want to pledge. But, you know, it's just, you know, all these networking clubs, though, it's all, or B&I or all those things, it's, yeah. it's a lead farm, and it's, and it's mm -hmm. not a lot of depth, I don't feel like, and it's very uh, niche-y, um, and, and it's, it just never felt like anyone had truly figured out a way to bring the like-minded together, because will the sum, like, it's like, Will the net of this be networking? Will the net of this maybe be a, some more leads for it? Of course. Sure. But 
let's not start at how do I get more leads? Yeah. Let's start for how do we grow this city and other cities mm -hmm. from the inside out? Well, the funny thing is, like, right when you said that, like, it didn't seem like, like it was a place for like-minded people to meet. Maybe that's exactly what it is, but just not the minds that you were like-minded with. Exactly. And maybe that's it. Like maybe <laughs> you just like maybe we just couldn't find the like-minded, but maybe they have found each other. <laughs> like, that's right. Maybe because everyone's got a different mind, and yours might not be like mine. Exactly. Um, and and so th like for those that are looking for more, not everybody's looking for more. Yeah. And, but some are, and, and I've been using this analogy so much lately, uh, and I apologize if you've heard me say this once or three times before, mm -hmm. but this idea that like you can drown in three inches of water, and that's where 99% of people live. Well, that's where 100% of freaking networking events live. They live in that three inches, yeah. and that's as deep as it gets, and it's just this shallow, small talk filled, check a box, get your two drink tickets at the door, go stand in the corner with the three dudes you know, yeah. and you leave and you didn't really get anything out of. Or like a B&I where it's literally just ultimately ends up being a bunch of lazy salespeople that are like, I brought my three leads, where's mine? Yep. And, and that's just not the way the world works. No. Um, and so what we wanted to do was find a group of people that would go deep. Like find a group of people that weren't just in it to check a box that they networked this week so that they could tell their boss that they were, you know, doing the sales activities that yeah. are required. Um, but that it was actually people that were looking to outside of that, like this is on a Sunday evening. That's different. Yeah. Um, that were looking outside of just the boxes to check to actually grow themselves and to surround themselves with people that are doing cool things, great things, people that are also interested in things like podcasts, things that people that are reading books, people that are watching YouTube videos and that are constantly trying to learn and level up. Uh, for me, selfishly, I just don't know where to go to meet other people like me. Like, yeah. I don't drink anymore, so like, I'm not gonna go to a bar and like, and hang out. Like, you know, go to the gym, you'll meet like a random person here and there, but like, where do you go to meet people like you? Like, I have no idea unless you create an environment where those people are all at. Yeah. And that's what I think this will end up uh, being. We want it to be exclusive. We want it to be where people feel like, man, this is something, this is like something cool and special uh, to be a part of. It's not just um, something where you're just like paying a fee to go sit in a room for a second and then leave and then feel like you didn't get anything out of. We want people to leave and they're like, crap, like yeah. I don't know what I did without having this before. Yep. Like where did I go to have these types of conversations? And it's almost like what's been interesting is, you know, so early on, you know, Tyler, you and I got involved with this idea, but it's like how organic this yeah. was like, cause I had it as kind of like this concept. And then I was like, Tyler, dude, I need you involved. I, yeah. We need to come together on this. So we came together and now it's become, the, you know, yeah. like, and it's almost like, I think that's what's going to happen mm -hmm. when we, and it's not because we don't, we have a plan, but it's like, it becomes organic. Yeah. And I think we're going to, that's what's going to happen on yeah. Sunday and future events and other things, because we have a lot of value to add, but where to, where do people want the value? Where does it organically grow when you put this group of people together? Yeah, and, and, and that's what it's not. Like it's not where you go and there's these two dudes on stage telling you how to live your life and tell you how to you know, increase your sales, and increase your revenues and you know, have a better marriage and all this <laughs> stuff. It's, it's literally a place where you go and you contribute. Yeah. Like there's areas in your life that you're winning. There's areas in your life that you're struggling. Well, those are gonna coincide with somebody else's wins and losses. Exactly. And how we can get a group of people together that are transparent, that, that get a little vulnerable, yep. that, that, aren't, that aren't afraid to expose some of that stuff and say like, man, like I'm, I'm really struggling in this area of my life. And have three people in the room that are like, I'm crushing it in that area of my life. Like, let's yeah. have lunch this week, you yep. know? And that'll, little trans, uh, that'll kind of transfer outside of the group. But the funny thing is like when we were talking about like, well, what is like GVL Hustle? Like, what is it? And we were like coming out with these outlines and all, like all this information that's important to have and, and structure, but it's like, it is whatever you want it to be. Like every yeah. single every single person I've had this conversation with, something new has popped up from it. Like I was talking, you know, to a good friend last night about it. I'm like, 
what do you think GVL Hustle is? They're like asking me, like, what do you think it is? Well, I don't know. It just seems like a cool place where you can go and like have some accountability. I'm like, that's exactly what it is to you. Yeah. And then like I'm talking to Nathan this morning. He's like, man, it just seems like a place to like meet a bunch of cool people. I'm like, that's exactly what it is to you. Yeah. And like it can be exactly what you want it to be. Like we don't want to put it inside this little box and say like this is where you come for this. Yeah. It can just be, this is where you come for whatever it is that you're looking for that you're not finding everywhere else. Yeah. Um, but to be able to provide some structure of, hey, every time you're going to get value in this type of speaker, this type of conversation, this type of activity or exercise, um, where you know for a fact you're at least going to leave having learned something, having grown as an individual, or quite frankly, having contributed. Like you came and you were able to t talk about this element of your business that's been going really well and by doing so you obviously that's the best way to learn uh, but how does that differ from like the traditional forms of, of networking that people have like if you're just like moved to a town you're like how am I gonna meet people like what would you do yeah you don't know no one knows yeah no no like, one it's has just a freaking clue. awkward I don't I don't know being in the town yeah you yeah, know? yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. much less being new mm -hmm. you don't know like you get plugged in and you think yeah. you make friends at the bar and like Again, that three inches deep, mm -hmm. you know, it's not, yeah. there's not depth. And, I, you know, there's one word, that, there's a, a word that every time I talk about it with someone, there's one word, growth. Yeah. Like, I think that GVL Hustle is about growth. Yep. And it will be, the city will grow from the inside out because what happens when we empower and we bring this group together and the... I'm not calling them the best and the brightest. That's too, like, I'm not, that's putting down someone else. Yeah. But highly motivated yep. people that want to contribute to the city, to their businesses, because if their businesses grow, the city grows. Yep. Like, that kind of growth happens but from the inside out with the people. You grow the people, you get these 200 people, 300 people. How many ever number it ends up being ultimately? Yeah. If they're growing, this city's growing. The, the word that I think of is abundance. And like, I, and I'm sorry to bring, keep bringing up BNI. If you're in BNI or if you're like the head of your BNI group, kudos to you because you're the only one that I, I can remember. Right. Like, that's awesome that that's the only networking group that I can even spout out. But we were talking yesterday, it's like, okay, you got one insurance, it's all exclusive, like, like exclusivity on your like category. So you're the, you're the pest control guy. Well, if I'm going to go and grow my pest control business, why am I going to go somewhere where there's no other pest control businesses allowed? <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, not that makes, best that makes no sense. Yeah. And, but that's a lack mentality yeah. versus this abundance mentality where you're like, hey, like, let's bring in all the freaking pest control companies or all the attorneys or all the insurance salesmen, all of this, and understand that like, Greenville's at a place in a specific size um, and, and growth right now where there's no competition. Like you and the other insurance guy, like you're not competing over the same person. There's freaking- Very rarely. It's very, rarely. insanely rarely. If you're worried about the 5%, then you're, you got bigger problems. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like in this idea that any of us like own the sun is, yeah. is absolutely ridiculous. So when you have this idea of abundance that like together, that you can actually achieve more, like that that's exactly how business actually works and how true growth um, actually happens, then it just opens up this, this avenue to where all of a sudden you got an insurance guy on your left and right and, and you're understanding that like, no, like by us kind of like locking arms and saying like, let's figure this thing out, that even if they're with X company, I'm with Y and this, this guy's with Z, that we can all get better and yeah. that there's plenty of freaking business out there for all of us to have and then some. Um, but I think that's a, that's an interesting concept that traditionally has not been that way. Traditionally, like you walk into the room, you're like, where's the other, the other yeah. insurance person? Or where's the other, the, you know, this copier salesman? And I got to make sure that I, you know, all yeah. that stuff, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, one thing that I want to kind of talk about, I kind of think it's, it's super tactical is the best ways to network and people, this phrase networking, like it's just, it's relationships. So what relationships have you ever built that was just small talk once a month? None, absolutely wow. none. So you have to find out and identify places where you can go to have real conversations with people. 
yeah. to where you can actually like open up a little, like expose a little bit of what's going on in your life, which gives that person the audacity to expose a little bit what's going on in your life. Now you two have a connection that's deeper than just like a, how's business? Yep. Business is great. How are you been? Great. Can't complain. Great. All right. See you next month. Like that's literally like that's the conversation that I, I can't like I refuse to have them anymore. Um, but a place where you can actually have these deeper conversations. It's the only reason I go to these events. Like meltdown of the desert. Yeah, there were great speakers. Yeah, there was a lot of good stuff presented. But I went there to pull three, four, five relationships from there that we had after the event conversations yep. that now I'm gonna to talk to on a weekly basis probably. Um, there's people at an event that TJ and I went to in December in Newark that I talk to almost daily, but at least every couple of days. Um, and those relationships has, have fostered tons of growth in me as a person uh, and uh, for my business as well. Uh, but I think there's this mindset with like networking that it's like all about like, how many business cards can I hand out? Like how many people's hands can I shake? Like, oh, I hadn't gone over to that side of the room and great, like, oh yeah, I met so-and-so. Like, yeah, you met them, but like, did they remember you? Yep. Was there any th connection that was actually created? But to be able to go into a room where everybody's focused on actually developing something real, yep. like real relationships, real conversations, and whether that has to be facilitated from the stage which can happen, which yep. is good, yep. or whether it's just organically is just a feeling that's created, yep. um, or just an overall kind of um, tone of, of the environment, I guess. Uh, but that's where the real growth is gonna happen, and that's where you get something that when you leave, you're like, dang, there's something, there's something different. And I think it's like, that. when I, I think of that communication and networking and all that, and I think the difference here is in any communication, it's the exchange of value. Mm. And I think it's like flipping that's on its head, like that exchange of value traditionally for with these things is, what's my next lead, when's my next lead? Yeah. But when it becomes deeper than that, when that exchange of value proposition, that value proposition, that exchange that you're having is deeper and more meaningful with life experiences or who you know or what you've learned, when that exchange of value mm -hmm. is dynamic, is changed, from instead of the ends, which is more business, more business, more business, yeah, yeah that's gonna come. But more to the means with which you get there, it's like, it just turns us on its head. I just think of that exchange yeah. of value. Dude, there was one time, uh, when you just talked about that uh, means to an end, there was one time where TJ was in here and he was recording with the camera as I was literally like processing this thought it is the funniest video because like you could literally like see my gears in my brain like <laughs> processing but i was like what if the the means do you remember this video what, one of the what if the means to the end actually was the end like what if it was the means like yeah. like and that's the relationships yes. like like that's what it, like because the reality is if i'm out at a restaurant and I meet someone, that's the worst example ever. Who meets people at restaurants? No one. Um, if, if I'm at somewhere <laughs> doing something, I'm at the gym, Core 24, GVL. <laughs> we love them. Yeah. Selfish plug. Not selfish, it's not mine. I just love it. <laughs> because they have created an atmosphere there where you can actually meet people because you don't have yeah. your headphones on because there's like good music and all that. So I meet somebody and they're like, oh yeah, I'm doing this and this and that. And like, yeah, we're, we're looking to expand this area. We're looking for this. And they say something that like, I've literally had a, a real conversation with like a human being that like I know about their you know, eight year old that's struggling with whatever in school. Yeah. Versus like there's someone at my B&I group that is in that industry that I owe it to them to f feed them a lead this week. Like, who am I gonna bring that to? I'm gonna bring it to the dude that like, I know about his family. I'm gonna believe it to the lady that like, I know what she's going through right now and I know like, different things about her like, personally, right? Yeah. Like, the people that you've built an actual relationship with. But the problem is we're, we live in a society where like, we, don't let that, we don't facilitate that happening. Like, there we aren't start, places. It's all about the end. There was somebody recently, um, golly, who was it? Um, it may have been Sean Whalen. It was talking about like you have to create space. Like you have to create space for people to have these conversations. Yeah. Like you have to create an environment for people to be able to open up and have like the real 
talk about like what's really going on um, for that to ever happen. And I think historically with most networking events, networking groups, networking things, like it's not what it's about. Like yeah. it's about like what can we charge? What can their ROI be to be able to charge that when like the ROI is like transactional? Yeah. Like I went to this, I got this many leads, it generated this much in revenue and this much in this. And that's great. And that's why they're like during the day on a weekday. You know, but yeah. the person that's even going to be willing to come to something that's outside of work hours kind of pre-qualifies you as one of those kind of like-minded individuals to begin with. Uh, but I think someone can take this podcast and, and listen to the words that we're saying and take it to not be about GVL hustle. This yeah. is really more right. about like, how do you have conversations and how do you really build your business and build your just life? I mean, that like to me, when they talk about like, the ultimate failure is success without fulfillment. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. Um, it's success without the relationships. Like that's like the fulfillment comes in those relationships that you build along the way. And so you have to constantly be looking for areas in your life that you can build relationships. Yep. And we didn't see that happening. And so we were like, oh, well, let's just create an environment where that can happen. Yep. Um, and I'm extremely excited selfishly just to have that environment for me. Yeah. Like exactly. literally. And so like when somebody asked me like, what's GVL hustle to you? I'm like, oh, it's a place where I can like hang out with my friends. Yeah. Cool. That's what it is for me. Like awesome. Yeah. Uh, but, but still have the byproduct of that being better business, increased revenues, increased right. sales directly from the group, even though you're not coming into it the looking for it. The ends come when you pay attention to the means. Exactly. There and we go. It's, I mean, and mm -hmm. you know, tying it back to like sales and the sales podcast, like all that things and like how this translates, like all the, everything you read in marketing today, especially is about removing friction. Yeah. And what I would say though, in the inverse of what this is, we're adding friction. We want friction mm -hmm. because we want transparency. We want to make people feel uncomfortable. We yeah. want them to want to come after the hours. Like yeah. we're adding friction to networking. Yeah. Like I'm to reversing get the right it people. to get the right people. Yeah. Like and and yeah, is it going to be cool? We're going to have a lot of culture. We're going to do things. That's the only way Tyler and I do it. Yeah. But it's going to be different, mm. and I know that for a fact. Yeah. Absolutely. So. so that's I mean that's really pretty much it for this for this podcast. I mean selfishly we wanted to promote GVL hustle, uh, but there's a greater conversation that I think stems from it in the why, like yeah. like why and the what is it. And if your town doesn't have it, being able to look at where what can I take into the situations and the environments that I do have to where I can get at, I can get that out of it. Like I can go to a BNI and create the environment that I want with the people that are there that are yep. willing to give it. I can go to the young professionals or to the whatever. Remember, is Pulse still around? Remember that thing? It was like part yeah, of the chamber. It was like the yeah. young people's whatever yeah. I part of the didn't chamber. See anything of it? Yeah. I probably is. I'm sure. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll, we'll get a text. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm we're the president of Pulse. Still, right? yeah. <laughs> Some guy playing golf. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Shame on you. Uh, <laughs> but. But like you can you can take this mindset into the traditional um, areas where people are networking and try to go deeper with people. Yeah. Like that's the thing. It's like don't just go into these situations or don't avoid all of these situations just because you're like, oh well that's just one of those things. No, like you be the different person. Yeah. And if you stand out and it makes you uncomfortable because like no one else is like really trying to to, to go that deep, then that's probably a good thing. Uh, but I can guarantee you if you're the one that's proactively doing that. That, that there's going to be someone there that they're like, oh crap, like that's different. Like I want to go talk to that person, um, and that's where those relationships. Like I've just lately just become so so convinced that like life is literally about relationships. Like that's that at the end of the day that that's where the fulfillment comes from. That's where the joy comes from, and that's where business freaking comes from. Yep. Like they talk about like, oh this isn't this isn't personal. This is business. No, like it's all personal. <laughs> like it's <laughs> yeah. all personal. Like there is nothing that you cannot take out the person from the business, and that that's all about like meeting like you said like minded people. And that's yeah. so funny that we said that. <laughs> 
<laughs> that the other people are like-minded too. It's just not the minds we want to like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. and that's and that's fine. Yeah. And that's fine too. Different strokes for different folks. Exactly. It won't be for everyone. But, exactly. But I think we've struck a nerve with the the right people. Yeah, absolutely, man. So, very cool. Well, uh, we're excited about that. Those of you that are in Greenville that are watching on Facebook Live, um, this is going on this Sunday, July first. Those of you that are watching on the Sales Wolves podcast or listening to the Sales Wolves podcast, this is something that happened a couple of days ago, but we're having one next month. So if you're in the upstate of South Carolina, this is something that's going to be nationwide within the next 12 months. Uh, but if you are in the upstate of South Carolina, just reach out to us, send us an email um, or shoot us a, um, a message on, on social media and we'll get back to you with some details on that. Uh, but with that, this is episode 73 uh, of the Sales Wolves podcast. I am Tyler Harris. Ryan Alford. And we are the Sales Wolves. Oh.